Hey, New Hope fam, Pastor Zach here. Uh, just wanted to share something with you that I've been reading, and it's in John chapter 20. And in John chapter 20, we see the disciples, um, and we know that at this point, Jesus has already been resurrected from the dead. The disciples there are locked in their house, and in verse 19, it says, On the evening of the first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Then it says a, a little bit later, Thomas showed up. And maybe you've heard of Thomas before referred to as Doubting Thomas. And this is where Thomas would have got this name. He shows up and they're like, bro, you missed it. Jesus came. You missed this big moment. And they're telling him all this stuff. And he's like, stop telling me this. And in verse 25, it says, he, he says this, unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my fingers where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. So it's the disciples telling him, uh, hey, you, you missed out. And it's this other disciple, this other believer saying, I won't believe it unless I see it. And then verse 26, if you continue reading, it says this. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came in and stood among them and said, peace be with you. Let me just encourage you with something else at this moment. Man, we're right now at a point where we're stuck in our house. Our doors are locked. We can't get out. But guess what? Jesus can still get in. He's saying, peace be with you. Verse 27. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Here's what I love about this story. Jesus had already shown up to all the disciples except for Thomas. And after eight days, after a week, Jesus showed up just for Thomas. And maybe you're in a spot similar to Thomas. You've been doubting God. You're doubting that, that God is real, doubting that God can do a work in your life, doubting that God's going to fulfill the promise that he's given you. And you feel like he's doing something for everyone else, but why isn't he doing it for me? You're doubting, God, can you even do something in the midst of all this? But hear me, if he showed up just for Thomas, he can show up just for you. But here's what made Thomas so unique is that Thomas, even though he was doubting, even though he was questioning things, he still surrounded himself with other believers. Who you surround yourself with matters. And that's hard right now because we're at a time where we have this thing called social distancing and we, we can't surround ourselves with our church family. But we have this great thing that's called technology and we can FaceTime, we can text, we can be on social media, we can call and talk with people. And, and we have this other thing called Spotify, called, called music, that we can fill our house with worship music with positive podcasts. And I know that it's important to watch the news. I know it's important to hear what they're saying, but guess what? I know who already knows what's gonna happen a week from now, a month from now, a year from now. And I'm gonna put my trust in him. I'm gonna choose to fill my house with worship music, with positive voices. I'm gonna surround myself with other believers by calling them, with FaceTiming them, with interacting on social media. And I'm gonna trust that, that in the midst of the doubt, in the midst of the confusion, that God has a promise that I can put all my hope in him. So if you're doubting God today, let me just encourage you. God, God can show up. And if you would invite him in, he's going to show up and he's going to do a new work in your life. I want to pray for you in just a moment. I just want to encourage you tomorrow morning, we have Sunday service happening. So make sure you tune in. Next week, we have our Easter services. It's going to be a great service. We hope to see you there. Jesus, I thank you for every person tuning in today, God. I thank you that, that you have a purpose for us, that, that you are working something together, even though we don't see it or feel it, that you're working together in this situation. I pray for those who are doubting, those who have fear right now, God, that you would just fill their house with peace and joy, just like you did for the disciples. God, speak something new to us today and let us be encouraged. In your name we pray. Amen. Love you guys.